Hello everyone, Ken here, back with another video for you. Today I'm gonna to walk you through the best free online data science courses that really fly under the radar. I constantly get asked about what resources to use when starting to learn data science. There are countless online courses, YouTube videos, certificates, degree programs, etc., and it can be really hard to figure out where to start and which ones are right for you. I think that many of the paid subscriptions like 365 Data Science, DataQuest, you know, etc., are, are great options, but there are also some free options that are high quality and that barely get any recognition. Stay tuned to the end of the video because I'll share how I'd go about learning data science from scratch if I were to start over again today. Also, please shoot this video a like if you find it helpful, and remember to subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to see more content about data science or sports analytics. For your reference, all of the resources that I mention are linked in the description below, plus some additional ones that I think you might like. Okay, the first online course that I'm gonna recommend are the Kaggle micro courses. As you know, I absolutely love Kaggle, and I should note that this video isn't sponsored by them in any way, shape, or form. I just think that they have a great product. They have a few free courses on their platform that show you the basics of Python, machine learning, and deep learning. I personally think the best way to learn data science in general is going through other people's Kaggle workbooks and eventually writing your own projects. If you learn the basics of data science through the Kaggle coursework, using the rest of the Kaggle platform will be significantly less intimidating. Kaggle also has a great community where you can ask questions and really learn at your own pace. This course mixes in practical exercises that emulate a real data science project. After completing the series of micro courses, you should be ready to start on your own projects. Again, I stress that projects are the best way to learn data science, and courses that can get you started doing projects the fastest are the ones that I put the most value in. The second course that I would recommend is the Google Machine Learning Crash Course. Google has been leaning pretty heavily into the education space since the introduction of Google Colab a few years ago. Side note, if you aren't familiar with Google Colab, it's an awesome tool that lets you run a Jupyter Notebook in the web browser and actually use Google Compute Resources for free. Again, not sponsored by this or anything, it's just a very good and valuable resource. Unlike the Kaggle course, the Google Machine Learning course has videos and it offers a slightly different style of teaching. They also you know, have specific practice questions about each of the concepts similar to the, the Kaggle framework. This material is slightly more advanced, so I'd recommend brushing up on your Python beforehand. The last course that I would recommend is fast.ai. This probably shouldn't qualify for this list because it's a bit better known than the other courses, but I still wanted to put it here. Fast.ai is probably the best free resource for learning about deep learning on the internet. You generally need to have some experience with Python, but if you want to take your learning really to the next level, this, in my opinion, is the best place. They also have Python learning resources to get you up to speed if you're a little bit behind in that area. Since you've stayed this far into the video, I'll also give you a bonus resource for learning Python. Honestly, I think that there are a tremendous amount of great resources out there, but one place people I don't really see looking into is the actual Python documentation website. I'd want to learn from a resource that the actual creators of the language and the maintainers of the language recommend. I'd look through the list of free resources on the wiki.python page, and I'd find the one that best fits your personal learning style. All this again is linked below. I love these resources because one, they're free, and the focus is also on getting you to learn enough to be able to start doing your own projects. One thing that I always stress is to get your hands dirty with the data as quickly as possible. I also stress watching what other great data scientists do. Going through GitHub repos and Kaggle kernels is how you learn to emulate what the other people who are successful in the field already do. It doesn't matter if you don't understand anything at first, you'll eventually pick it up the more you actually look at it. If I was gonna go back to try to learn data science from scratch again, I would first go through that Kaggle course that I referenced before. I would do that to get some of the Python and the, the stats basics. Next, I'd follow along through different Kaggle kernels and GitHub repos of people who are established in the data science field. You can find these people pretty easily through the Kaggle rankings. I would note any of the packages or algorithms that I didn't understand when looking through their code, and I'd write them down in some form of Word document. Each day, I'd go through that list and try and understand a few different concepts. 
You'll be shocked after a couple weeks. You, you understand and you learn a lot more than you'd think. Next, I'd start my own small project where I focus on using one or two of the packages and algorithms that I saw in my code review. For example, I'd do a project where I'd manipulate some data using pandas, maybe make a couple plots in matplotlib, and then run a very simple linear regression using sklearn. I continue to do this until I'd done projects that are very small on each of the different packages and algorithms that I saw other people using. That would really reinforce my understanding of those, again, packages and algorithms. Finally, I'd start doing larger projects that tied multiple of these elements together. I hope that this video helps you get started learning data science. I know it can be very intimidating, but I found that the process after a while was extremely rewarding. Thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.